A look now at some moments in history from the past week. On November 6, 1861, Election Week looked much different in America with the Confederacy electing Jefferson Davis as their first president. Jefferson Davis, who was selected to be the provisional president earlier in the year, led the Confederacy for the remainder of the Civil War. November 1, 1952, saw the first test of a thermonuclear bomb on the Marshall Islands. The bomb, nicknamed Mike, yielded over 10 megatons of energy and was 450 times more powerful than the bomb dropped on Nagasaki. Minus 10 seconds, Niner, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Still entrenched in the Vietnam War, Richard Nixon addressed the nation on November 3, 1969, outlining his plan to turn over military operations to South Vietnamese forces. We really only have two choices open to us if we want to end this war. I can order an immediate precipitate withdrawal of all Americans from Vietnam without regard to the effects of that action. Or we can persist in our search for a just peace through a negotiated settlement if possible, or through continued implementation of our plan for Vietnamization if necessary. A plan in which we will withdraw all of our forces from Vietnam on a schedule in accordance with our program as the South Vietnamese become strong enough to defend their own freedom. I have chosen this second course. It is not the easy way. It is the right way. And on November 4, 1979, Iranian students stormed the U.S. Embassy in Tehran, taking more than 50 U.S. diplomats and public servants hostage. The crisis lasted 444 days until the hostages were released in 1981. Um, in the 14 months that I was there, uh, nine, I was nine months in solita uh, solitary, threatened, uh, threatened many times. They arranged mock, sec mock executions. For us, they cut us off. They isolated us. They cut us off from news and information. We were held in uh, incommunicado. Uh, they attempted to uh, convince us that we had been forgotten. We had very little communication with family uh, um, uh, outside. Uh, in, in a brief, we were not well treated. And that's a look at what happened this week in history. American History TV has programs on all of these topics in our archives. You can watch them online at cspan.org/history.